In a camera review, once I said that I'm really pleased that the stabilization system used is not a digital one, referring to the gyro the camera was using. Some tried to point out that it is a software only stabilization, hence I decided to make a video on this topic. Number 1 most commonly known as optical image stabilization system, usually achieved by either physically moving a lens or the sensor to compensate for movement. A gyroscope is involved in the process, but more on this later. Moving on. Number three, software only stabilization, or often referred to as digital stabilization. We'll come back to number two after this. This is where a software looks at a series of frames to determine movement of camera and attempts to correct for that. This software can reside inside a camera or we have application to stabilize video at time of editing. But this is kind of last resort and I'll show you why. Here is a video of rain. There is lots going on and all this makes it hard for the software to understand what to do. So the result ends up worse than before. This can mess up a relatively stable shot as well. Number 2. Gyro Stabilization. The main subject of this video. It would be fair to call it hybrid stabilization. Let's break down the steps. Here we have both lens and sensor fixed in its position. The sensor captures data and sends it to the buffer. The processor, or uh, the boss really, <laughs> then decides what to do with that information based on the settings and the parameters set. It turns the raw information into frames of images and hence a video is forming with every passing frame. Timekeeping is generally done by the boss, but it can be separate device as well. I'll not go too much into detail as to why timekeeping is important, lest we digress. Next of course we have the output for the processed data, to be stored locally or to be sent to an external recorder, whichever. So the gyro sends information about movement, angular rotation rather, to the CPU. This is where timekeeping is crucial since a mismatch of time will throw everything off. The boss is working on the frame that is in hand. The sensor is recording the current frame. So the reading from the gyro needs to be time matched with the frame that boss is working on at the moment. What does the boss do with the information from gyro? First the frame is slightly zoomed in and the outside portion is kept for stabilization process. The frame is moved in accordance to reading from the gyro to keep the image stable. Now about the gyroscope. It comes in a form that looks like a microchip but inside there are moving parts or rather I should say parts in motion. See size here does not matter. The readings and its accuracy does. This is a simplified diagram of a single axis gyro. The proof mass vibrates at x-axis, thus a full circular motion is not used, rather an arc gives us a similar effect. If the structure is rotated in z-axis, due to Coriolis force effect, the drive beam is forced to move along the y-axis. This motion generates charge on the sense beam, which is picked up by the sense electrode. So in essence, these are miniaturized instrument which traditionally has been bulkier, otherwise also referred to as microelectromechanical systems or MEMS for short. Coming back to the camera, these miniature gyro tells the CPU how much the camera moved and the CPU adjusts the frames accordingly, giving us a stabilized video. Digital stabilization on camera is basically a software process that is handled by the boss just before the output is written. Gyro stabilization is similar on that note, except the movement of the camera is determined by a physical process rather than an algorithm that attempts to understand images in order to assess the movement. Well, that's it about different types of stabilization. But on the side note, memes. 
The kind of gyro that is used in camera these days has been reduced to microscopic proportion. And it's not just gyros. We are talking about any electromechanical device, complex ones with gears and everything into minute little things. In the future, we can like have a camera implanted into our eyelids, look at the mirror and blink to take a picture and upload it straight away. Oh, I blinked. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Your comments and suggestions I look forward to. Please feel free to browse our channel for other great videos. And we are also in Patreon, so your support is greatly appreciated. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.